Hello students, welcome to Machining Sciences and Tool Design. So we are discussing module number 5 that is design of single point cutting tools. In this video we will be discussing about design of chip breakers. Uh, as you might have already know what is chip breaker, why it is used. So chip breakers are a material or small pieces which is uh, welded onto the uh, main cutting tool so that your chips are broken down into very small pieces. So that is why chip breakers are required is why chip breakers are not provided. So this chips will roll over this uh, rake surface and it will uh, uh, curl into a Chips will be curled and it will be uh, welded onto the rake face and uh, it carries away the material when it is the weld material is broken down. It carries away the material from the tool itself. So this will lead to a lot of tool wear. Uh, so this will increase the tool wear. So to avoid this, uh, two chip breakers are provided which will cut the chips so it will not form into a curl shape and there is no uh, welding or joining of these chips onto the tool face happens. So that is about uh, chip breakers. So it has to be broken down into uh, small pieces for easy disposable and protect the finished surface from coiling chips. So these chip breakers may be added to a cutting tool for this purpose. So you can have a chip breaker separately attached to like this or you can provide the geometry of the cutting tool itself so that it will act as a chip breaker or you can provide a grooves like this to which acts as a chip breaker so we will discuss one by one so there are different types of uh, chip breakers several types of chip breaking uh, device are in use so small step or shelf in the ground on the tool face for this purpose the depth is 0.3 mm to 0.8 mm so its width depends on feed and depth of cut. So if the size of the shelf is properly chosen, it will break into a continuous chip into short pieces. So this type of chip breaker considerably increases tool cost on carbide tools. So a cutting tool uh, with a groove or a ridge type. So we have just now saw the groove type or a ridge type uh, is it a type of a chip breaker. I have a groove of 2.5 mm. To 13 mm width and 0.1 mm to 0.15 mm depth and the radius of 0.5 to 3 mm depth 3 mm radius so the narrow ridge or a land is provided along the cutting edge of this for the strength with this form of a tool face the chip flows into a groove and forced into and it is forced to into curl so the closer the groove that is the groove which you are providing on the rake surface if it is closer to the cutting edge, the smaller the radius will be and tighter the chip will curl. So what is the advantage? Uh, so semi finish and finish turning of the steel chip will break into short coiled pieces. So this type of chip breaker requiring power consumption and depends less upon the feed and depth of cut that is cutting parameters other than type uh, it's suitable for high speeds. So separate type uh, chip breakers often adjustable are also into tip put tools particularly with a throw away inserts as you can see in the figure. So we have a different types of chip breakers uh, shown here. So very first one is a groove type uh, chip breaker. So all these are uh, groove type chip breakers or braced on to the tools and then you have externally held using a screw or an insert. Uh, sectionally held, mechanically held chip breakers and then you have a molded uh, chip breakers so which is molded onto the cutting tool surface so this is about uh, chip breakers so we'll end this video here thank you